Hello guys and welcome to another tutorial video and in this short tutorial video I'll be showing you how to send USDT from KuCoin to another wallet. Now if you're looking to send your USDT from KuCoin to another wallet it's quite easy. All you need to do is simply open up your KuCoin application and now with KuCoin opened up make sure you have an account. And if you do not have an account on KuCoin by using our link in the description of the video you stand a chance to claim 3200 USDT to what the welcome gifts and bonuses. When you register and verify. So guys, you're on KuCoin, you've got a verified account. How can you send your USDT from KuCoin to another wallet? Now, all you need to do is simply locate your USDT on KuCoin. Head to the assets menu at the bottom right corner of the screen. Scroll from the overview to the funding or your trading account where your USDT is stored. Once you found the USDT, click on the USDT and then click on the withdraw option. Proceed to Proceed to enter the wallet address, the network, and the minimum withdrawal would be stated. Now, minimize and open up your trust wallet as trust wallet is the wallet we're going to be working with in this video. So open up trust wallet and with trust wallet opened up, we're going to be sending our USDT in the network. So head back to your KuCoin, select the network of your choice. So let's go with the cheapest network that is the bmb smart chain and then the minimum withdrawal is three usdt so enter the three usdt and then proceed to add an address so minimizing you can get your address from trust wallet so to do this all you need to do is simply search for the bmb smart chain and copy its address or you could simply search for usdt simply select the usdt on the bmb smart chain that's the tether usd click on this click on receive copy this minimize Open up your KuCoin, paste the address there, click on withdraw, and you successfully withdraw the amount into your trust wallet. And all you need to do is simply confirm this by opening your trust wallet and then performing a reload here, and you'd find your USDT. So guys, do comment down below if you have a question. Concerning how we can go about any of this, and you'll be given an answer. Thank you.